welcome. This presentation will go over how to get your accommodation letters issued using the Clockwork Student Portal. Many of you will already be familiar with the Clockwork Student Portal. This is the portal that you've been using to book your accommodated exams over the past year. Now we're adding on a new feature that will allow you to request your accommodation letters and provide them directly to the instructor. The system will use your IT username and password. Please note that these may be slightly different than your MyUFC or D2L login, depending on how you set up your account. If you're having trouble accessing Clockwork, please contact access at ucalgary.ca and they can help you troubleshoot the system. Once you log into the Clockwork portal, you'll now have two options. One option will take you to what is referred to as self-registration. Self-registration is basically another way of describing that you're asking for accommodation letters for this semester. The other option will remain will be that to schedule a test or exam. Once you've selected the self-registration portal, you'll need to select the accommodation tabs to initiate the process. By clicking on the accommodations tab, you'll be able to request your accommodation letters and have a notification sent to your instructors in the courses. You can also prompt any accommodation changes. Please note, however, we would prefer if you'd contact the main office for any accommodation changes as they may require a meeting with your access advisor. Once you've selected the accommodations tab, you'll be taken to this page. This is where you'll request for your accommodation letters to be issued. The first step is to make sure that you've selected the correct semester. You can do this by selecting the drop down menu on the right hand side of the screen. You should see a list of all the courses that you're currently registered in for the semester. When you first log in, all will share a similar status, waiting for a student to request. It may be important to note here that if you change lecture sections or you add new courses, that you'll have to go back and make sure that you've requested accommodations in those courses. Requesting accommodations is the starting point for having access to book exams in those courses. And they're also what is used to help the exam center book your final exams. So keep this in mind as you move forward. To begin the request process, select the button labeled request on the right hand side. Here is an overview of what the request for accommodation letter page will look like. Don't worry, I realize there's a lot of text on this page and it's pretty tiny. So we're going to go over the three main parts of the request. The first one we'll go over is the instructions. Secondly, we'll go over how you request for your accommodations per class, as well as indicating if you want to keep your accommodations as they are, or if you require a change, and what that does in terms of issuing the letter process. And lastly, we'll look at the terms and conditions portion, which you must acknowledge and submit. So let's take a deeper look at the instructions that you'll find on the request accommodation letter screen. For most students, you'll move through the request process as follows. You'll keep all your accommodations and courses selected. You'll indicate that your accommodations are correct. You'll agree to the terms and submit your request. At this point, your instructor will get a weekly email listing all the students who've requested accommodation letters and the instructor will be invited to log into Clockwork to see the details of the accommodation letter and to indicate that they viewed the letter. We still recommend that you download a copy of your accommodation letter and connect with your instructor. It's the best way to make sure that your accommodations are arranged, as well as to kind of help you build a relationship with your instructor. The other option would be to note that you need to make some sort of change removal addition to your accommodation. We ask that you briefly describe what kind of change you're planning to make. Again, agree to the terms and submit. At this point, Student Accessibility Services will reach out to you and likely you'll be meeting with your access advisor. 
Please note that if you select this option, no letters are sent to your instructor at this point. After reviewing the instructions, you'll see your particular details regarding your accommodations, your currently registered courses. Automatically, the system will default to selecting all of your accommodations and all of your courses. We recommend issuing letters based on that. However, if you're certain that you're not going to use a particular accommodation in a particular class, that's when you're going to want to do some deselecting, ensuring that you're selecting the accommodations you intend to use for the particular course on the right. I also want to note it'll list one of the instructors for the course. In that case, don't worry if it's not exactly the same as the one who's teaching your lecture section. It could be a course coordinator that's listed there or a co-instructor. Do note, while only one instructor is listed on this screen, an email will be triggered to all instructors associated with the course. Before moving on, you'll need to indicate your accommodation status here. Typically, this will mean selecting my accommodations are correct the way they are. This leads to the automatic release of the letters being sent to your instructor. However, you're welcome to indicate if you need to add, remove, or change an accommodation. We have an optional note so that you can give us a sense of what kind of change, removal, addition you're discussing. Please note that SAS will reach out to you if you select this option and your letters will not be automatically issued. Now we're at the last step of the process, confirming that you've read and understood the terms. And I just want to highlight a couple of them for you. One is that helpful reminder that you need to book your quizzes, tests, and exams at least seven days in advance. In fact, if you've indicated that you need no changes to your accommodations, you can book all your exams for the entire semester right after you hit that submit button. It can be easily done in the exact same tool that you're using now, just selecting the book exams option at the beginning screen. The other thing that we want to highlight again is to connect with your instructor. This way you can talk about your accommodations and how they can be done within your class. And lastly, we want to remind you that we're here. So contact us if you have any questions, concerns related to your accommodations. So similarly, if you decided I'm going to issue my letters based on no changes, but I really do want to discuss the possibility of another accommodation. That's fine. Just reach out to us. The easiest way being send us an email at access at ucalgary.ca. Before you finish up, make sure that you tick the I agree to terms outline above box at the bottom and hit submit. So now that we've gone through and hit submit, the status has changed for this particular course. We can now see because we didn't request any changes to our accommodation that it's indicated as sent. This means that your instructor or all instructors associated with the course will be sent a weekly email listing all the students who've requested accommodation letters in their courses and it indicates for them to go and review your accommodations. At the same point, we also recommend that it can be helpful to download a copy of your accommodation letter for yourself. You can do this by clicking the blue button on the right hand side. This will generate a PDF copy of the letter. This can be helpful if you're planning to meet with your instructor to discuss certain accommodations and how they'll work in their courses. This will also be helpful for you if you've now added or removed courses or lecture sections. You'll be able to see which courses you've already sent a letter for and which ones that you will need to do now that you've changed your schedule. If you've indicated that there's a change required for your accommodation, you'll see the status will change to pending staff. This means our office is aware that you need a change removal addition, and they'll be in contact with you regarding it. At this point, we've gone over all the steps for issuing accommodation letters through Gawkwork, but you may still have some questions, and the answers may be hiding under the FAQ tab. One common one that you may be thinking about is, what happens to that instructor confirmation sheet? Clockwork will now be able to record that the instructors have viewed and acknowledge that they've received the accommodation letter. However, just because you're not tracking down signatures 
or handing physical pieces of paper to your instructors doesn't mean that it may not be helpful to connect with them. You may want to send them an email or meet them in their office hours to discuss your accommodations, in particular how they'll work in that class. Thank you for going through this video on how you can request your accommodation letters through Clockwork. Just a reminder that if you run into any trouble, have questions and so forth, that we're here to help. And you can reach us by contacting us at access at ucalgary.ca.